Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarender, and today going up against the Stardasher, and as you guys know, Stardasher is a long time follower and uh, a very, very good person and a very, very good battler overall. I have a huge problem with this guy, um, because he plays smart, he's really, really good, and he tends to throw me off guard more often than not and this time I'm using a really weird team and he does so as well which means that you know it's wide open for you know potential possibilities of uh, anything going down really so anyway look at his team here we got Mobile, Yurtering, Rapidash, Aurora, Zyta and the Executor. Uh, I myself am using Pancham, yes! Um, Zimizage, Rhydon, Ramprodos, uh, Semipool and Metang, and basically, looking at my opponent's team here, I really had no idea what was gonna start with it. I was really hoping for Aurorus as a possible stealth rocker, but that was the only thing I got. Like, I was really fearing that if I start off with a Pokemon like my Rhydon, um, he's gonna start with the Executor, so I thought that my Pancham was my best lead. And throughout this battle, I do believe that Pancham is a dark type besides his own fighting. He is actually only fighting. Um, like I said, I didn't know that and um, it turned out to be quite interesting because of that thought process because my opponent fought actually the same way. So, with all these my guys, let's go. So, yeah, anyway, he will actually predict me to start with the ride on, so it was a good thing that went for my pan champ. Um, that great. And basically, now I am in a position here where I can freely go for a knockoff. Um, he's really feeling this, of course. He's gonna hard switch out to his Mawile. <laughs> Mawile. Mawile. Oh, God, I just butchering that, aren't I? Uh, Mawile. Yes. I <laughs> pulled that off. So, anyway, the knockoff, of course, is going to not do a whole lot. But at the same time, I do knock off the what's it called? Life Orb, which makes it a bit more weaker. And I'm gonna, gonna win to my foreign, because he can wall this thing out. And I, I'm gonna say not well, but you know, sure, it did work, it did take it, and it is fully invested in, well, defenses and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks because I really need those up. He's gonna go for his Space Ball, the um, Executor, and uh, of course, there's really nothing he can do from this position, and uh, I need to really, really play safe in the beginning, or just feeling him, to be honest. So, Cerno was my second best bet, in case he decides to go for uh, a Giga Drain. But he went for Sleep Powder, does miss it sadly, and it's gonna go to his FIRE! Or ON FIRE! And, um, this is obviously not the best of positions. Which, of course, means that, as you guys can see here, Flare Blitz, kind of obvious. And, um, I did pull a double switch predicting something, but not the <laughs> Rapid Dash. So we're gonna go back to Craig, he's gonna go for a low kick, and, um, this should be like our first indication that this thing wasn't a dark type because it doesn't hit anything and of course I have no weight. And he's gonna go to Tundra, the Aurora's, which looks kinda cool shiny. I really like Aurora's shiny form and I just went for Drain Punch because that was my safest move and the being that he switched out does tell me that he is um, choice in some fashion, either Scarf or Band. So Aurora is going to go be one hit KO'd by the Rain Punch, obviously. And now he's going to go to Saita, which lose so much HP, it's not even funny. And it's going to go for Real Ace, which does hurt a lot, but I do pack the Ice Punch. And I'm not sure it's going to take this thing out. I am not. He lives with a slither of health, and due to dip that position, I am not feeling like I'm going to stack on my Pangora just yet. So I'm going to go to Cerno. Actually, taking this Bug Bite. You know, I'm not gonna say well, but I do take it, and I'm gonna finish him up with the bullet punch. There's no reason for him to really switch out due to self rocks actually be able to take him out afterwards. So definitely not risking the residual damage. So he's gonna go back to the face palm, and now I felt that all right, it seems real obvious that he could go for a Zy shock or a psychic. So I'm just going to go to Cray, who can wall that out at least to some extent. He goes for Zy shock, and it lands. And this is where it both hit us, that this thing is only a fighting type. Oops. That means that the face-off against Executor and this guy um, could have ended very badly the first gone, because that Psyshock would have one-shotted me no matter what, because of Executor's strength. So that was a major bummer, really. 
Uh, anyway, I go with my Simon Sage. I'm not gonna risk or anything like that. Just gonna go for Rock Ledge, neutral damage. Uh, there's no reason for me to go for Home Claw as long as the Mewal is around. And basically, here I was thinking that it's very possible that he can go for an Iron Head or Play Rock here, doing as much damage as possible. So I'm better off going to my Tang and really hoping that he doesn't pack the Sucker Punch. God damn it, he of course packs the freaking Sucker Punch. And it, while it doesn't really, you know, kill me. It still puts me in a range where I know there is nothing more my Metan can do. It doesn't have any recovery. Um, the Rapid actually freely can freely come in and destroy me. And uh, yeah, on fire! It's gonna come in, and like I said, um, I'm gonna fire my Metang here because there, like I said, there's really nothing you can do from that range of HP, and it's not gonna help anybody. So we might as well do some damage, going down the Pebbles, doing some more residual damage to the Rapid Dash. And now I know he's locked into the um, Clear Blitz. Like I said, I knew it was Scarf in some fashion after the low kick situation. So I can freely go to my Simi Seer and... Um, no, Simi Poor. And uh, go for a Nasty Pulse. He does stay in here, which actually did surprise me. But it does so much freaking damage, it's not even funny. It <laughs> he does live though, which means that that is like even worse. Because that means that this thing could come back on so it's really banking this thing must be choice banded if it's scarf it's over it really is over but he doesn't he <laughs> it truly really isn't he's banded and I do take him out here and you might be wondering why I use Brian here and I really thought Brian was when your HP was lower than 50% it base becomes 130 but I got told afterwards here that it's the opposite it is when opponent's Pokemon is on the lower, <laughs> lower estimate of the HP below 50% that is 130 and uh, that really sucked because that means that this Yursering will survive yes and of course now the freaking poison orb or toxic orb is gonna start which means that this thing is now on the rampage and he's gonna go for close combat and you know it isn't really that close to take me out but I was thinking that it is a chance that he could switch out and if so then I'm gonna go for dragon tail yeah, I missed that. And he lives the Toxic. And I am forced here to take another close combat. So that was probably not the most solid play I ever made. While I do live this, it is... Uh, yeah, it's it's very un unimpressive. So, I'm gonna take him out. I should just have gone for Rock Blast from the first go, really. Uh, so he's gonna bring his last Pokemon, which is the Face Palm the Executor. And it wouldn't really have mattered. The face off against Rhydon would not have worked here. But I have a key Pokemon back in the guard besides my semi <laughs> or semi Sage. And that is my Ramperdos, which has yet to come around, which is a life orb monster of a Pokemon with Share Force, and he's just gonna go for a crunch. And there is no way this executor is taking this, so this is GG. It's a very fast paced battle. Both our team fell asunder really fast. Uh, I think I win 3 0, but um, it is hardly as um, easy as it looks. You know, our team fell apart really early on, and it really looked like a, we both had a lot of joke Pokemon that may or may not have worked that well together. So, anyway, so I should think of that battle. Oh, it was really fun, actually. So, yeah, that battle is actually kind of old. I guess it's like at least. A month old easily. Um, the reason I haven't uploaded it was because it wasn't too long ago I had a battle against Stardish before that, so I didn't really want to use Pandering out with another one. But um, like I said, it was a very fun battle. I had a lot of fun trying out new things, and Stardish is really one of those players that is worth doing that against because he's such a smart player, which means that he could destroy me, but at the same time, I could actually. How to put it? I could annoy him to to the edge really with weird sets, which is something I try to do every time. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, of course, and make sure to check out Stardash on Twitter. He is a great player, like I said there. So anyway, don't forget to leave a like if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and of course, streaming on Saturday, guys. Take care. Bye.